So here now we have Draculaura in her Skull Shores outfit. Please excuse the noise from downstairs. If you hear swearing, that would be drunk people. Move as well. Okay, so Draculaura's Skull Shores outfit. And then the really nasty looking Skull Shores there. And she looks really happy that Skull Shores look so disgusting. <laughs> okay, if I turn it over and show the back. There's really not much to say about these boxes. So, Dracula, daughter of Dracula, Phil de Dracula, blah 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 blah, many different languages. And then, I believe that is the ridges on the back of an alligator. Well, it's three thinks, very close together sharks. Yeah, random thinks it's three very close together sharks, one of which is green. <laughs> So, so that's just because I love sharks. I know it is. But I'm pretty sure it's an alligator. So we now have all of those except for Gulia. Um, we know where to get her. She's available in about three shops that we know of. Actually Multiple in stock. Times. Multiple stock, actually. No one likes her in this <laughs> series. It's because of the round glasses. It's the awful 80s waboosh I'm wearing glasses look. Mm. So she definitely won't be wearing her glasses. We actually have a Gulia where you can see her face. I gotta say, Draculaura's hair. Oh my jeez. <laughs> She's going for the anti-gravity look. I like it. Very anime. It's like it's yeah, it's like an anime. And her bangs look like an umbrella. A little bit, yeah. I hadn't actually noticed that before. Thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> So we'll open the box up now, find out just how non-anime-like her hair looks. So here we have Dracula on the back packaging. I've just realised how much more pink it looks like she has in her hair on the camera than actually in real life. It's like luminescent. So anyway, so obviously we have the green theme again with the backing and the stands and the hairbrush. So she has her map tucked at the back there and her drink in her hand on the plastic thing like they seem to be doing but um we actually wanted to mention something with the back packaging this time is that um the two parts of her hair that are supposed to be separate they've actually taken the time to put thread through the back of the box just so that they can then put the thread through to tie these little pieces of hair so that they stay still when they're in the box. So we'll try and work our way through all of the sellotape that they've stuck over everything in the back and get her out of the box so that you can see her. Okay, so here we have Draculaura out of the box. So, starting from the top, um, and the top actually this time is her hat. So she has a little sailor hat, which is attached to her head with an elastic band. And on the top of it is the Monster High logo. Because everything must be linked to the school itself. So, um, she has her hair in the ponytail. It's obviously a lot less anime-like than on the picture, because that's not physically possible to do. But apparently they tried because it was completely caked in gel. I actually cringed when I touched it when it came out of the box. But I've brushed all of the gel out now, so um, it's not as horrible to hold. So Quite a big portion of pink in her hair as well now. Yeah. So um, she has two little strands that have escaped from the ponytail at the front next to her fringe which is v-shaped and unfortunately ours has a bold spot where the tip of the v should be but it is v-shaped and then she has slightly translucent pink anchor earrings and the tips of the anchors are hearts because she loves hearts because she has her heart birthmark which we found out about in the film so, she's wearing completely pink 
eye makeup. I think it is just all one shade of pink. It's very rare that you get a doll that's just wearing one shade of eye makeup. It does have glitter above the pink. Everyone has glitter above everything. But it is just one shade of pink. And then she has pink lipstick on as well, which I think is also the same shade. So then, going with her sailor theme, she has the little ribbon and collar, which is actually see-through lace, like on the sleeves in her original outfit. And then she's wearing sailor stripes, but in pink instead of blue, because she loves pink and doesn't go anywhere without wearing pink. And then she has her sarong, which I'm not sure what the blue and pink things are. They're somewhere stars. between... Are they stars? It's somewhere between a star, a flower, and a sun. And they're skeletons with the little and ribbon. I picture they're skeletons with ribbons. Well, that one definitely is, but... <laughs> no, okay, no, no, that one is a skelet, that one there. But that one... Is a skelet? Okay. No. Look, that one is a rain cloud. Look at that. That is a rain cloud. Mm -mm. Skelet. <laughs> You're just wrong, babe. I know. <laughs> but it does look like rain clouds. And then this is actually tied. It's not even velcro this is actually tied in a knot i went to do velcro but then i realized it wasn't that's what i did <laughs> so she's wearing a little onesie with slight legs like shorts which i think is cute mm. <laughs> you don't care you care about her shoes so, and then her bracelet, which she actually doesn't have on the picture, so we have an extra accessory this time, instead of one being taken away. She has two anchors hooked on the front, and then the back is a rope connecting them. And it seems to be focusing on her... S there we go. Okay, no, stay focusing. Okay, so two anchors on the front. Linked together. And then the back is a rope. So, going to her shoes now, because Yay. we know you love her shoes. So, they're the same kind of translucent pink as her earrings, and they have the heart anchors. And then the front is ropes, and the ropes have a little heart on the front. So here we have our standard green hairbrush, and then Draculaura's drink appears to be in a flower, and then she has a little bendy straw. Now I'm covering this because on the picture, that is definitely an umbrella, okay? And we know they can make umbrellas. We know they can make umbrellas because they've made umbrellas before, okay? On lagunas, on for Laguna. example. Yes. So if we go back to this, okay, I'm going to take my hand off of this, and this is definitely not an umbrella, it's a cauliflower. There is a cauliflower floating in her drink. Where her umbrella was. <laughs> so, I'll just get Draculaura to hold that, and I've just realised how loose that one hand is. Can you see that? Whoa. So... There, push that in properly. And of course, while she's doing that, there's the um, map that they all. And again, it is the same map. There you go. Should I get the gooners to compare the maps again? No. <laughs> okay. Cauliflower. Yes, definitely a cauliflower. Oh, the eyebrow, yeah. Um, our Draculaura... We only noticed this when we got home. Yeah, our Draculaura, obviously it won't be the same for people at home, but you can see this eyebrow, eyebrow ends in a point just by where the makeup ends. This eyebrow ends in a line towards the end of her eye. So, um, just... She over -pluck. Cover it over slightly with that bit of hair there. Perfect. <laughs> so we'll see you next time and we might actually have the Gulia from this set. <laughs>